The first thing we should see is the project menu. Loops is already chosen from the project menu, that's the one I want. Just make sure it's a new project. And I hit choose. From here I'm going to give my project a title. I'll just do Wednesday song because today is Wednesday. And then I can choose my song's tempo, time signature, I can specify beats per minute, and what key it's in. I'm going to go to tempo 104 and hit create. Now my project's ready to begin. On the right hand side I have a browser for loops. In the middle is the project arranging area. And on the left is the list of tracks or the names of the instruments or sound that you're going to hear. On the top is a ruler that shows the beats and measures of our song. On bottom is the transport with some familiar buttons. We have the record button. This button takes us back to the beginning of the project. Back one measure, forward one measure, chorus play and stop, and then a looping feature where we can cycle the music. When I hit play, you'll notice the cursor has started to move across the beats and measures on the ruler. Down in the transport, you'll see it counting the beats and measures in the transport display. I stop it and reset and the cursor moves back to the beginning. We'll begin with a drum track today. All drums will give you a wide variety of loops. Beats will be more specific to drum machines or program synth drums. Kits will give you recorded or processed live drum sounds. I'm going to go with kits. Now the style of music I want is a rock song and I can scroll through the list and preview loops until I find the one I want by clicking the icon to the left of the loop. Once I'm happy with the loop, I click it, hold it, drag it into the arranging area of my project, and now a set of controls appears in the tracks menu on the left hand side. However, if I already hit play, you'll notice you only hear two measures of the actual drum beat. This is where the name loop comes very important. If I take my mouse and put it on the top right hand corner of the loop, hold it, and drag it, the loop will repeat itself as many times as I take it. I'll take it to measure 9. Now when I hit play, it'll perform those 8 measures of that drum beat. And that's essentially how you use loops in GarageBand.